Levi's guy on my Google, not, not a picture of William, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it was me and Levi's, honestly. <laughs> From mooning innocent students on campus to ex-boyfriend drama. On April 29, 2011, 29-year-old Kate Middleton married the heir to the British throne, but she had other boyfriends before Prince William. Kate Middleton actually led a pretty low-key but crazy life before becoming a royal figure. So gather around, folks! Today we are diving into the pre-royal secrets of the one and only Kate Middleton. Forget the tiaras and all the formalities for a second, okay? We're talking about the days when Kate was literally just trying to survive high school bullies and the occasional hangover. As a young woman in her 20s, Kate embraced the carefree and natural look with her signature heavy eyeliner. And by occasional, I mean every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Thursday probably as well. Anyways, let's dive right into the tea now, shall we? Kate Middleton had a college boyfriend right before meeting Prince William. Catherine dating Rupert Finch in her first year. During the fashion show that marked Kate Middleton's catwalk debut, Kate reportedly had a tall, dark, and handsome boyfriend. The tall, dark law student was a genuinely nice guy, but since he was a few years older than the girl... Um, does, uh, does William fit any of those criteria? Oh, uh, I, I guess he's tall. The mysterious ex-boyfriend was an aspiring lawyer who attended the same college, St. Andrews, as Kate. His name was Rupert Finch. And although Kate and Rupert's romantic journeys took different paths later on, the connection remained strong. Their romance ended a year later with his graduation from the university. However, the ex-lovers remain friends and are still on friendly terms. Strong enough that Rupert received an invitation to attend Kate and Prince William's wedding back in 2011. So put yourself in Rupert's shoes. Imagine being the guy who lost his girlfriend to the future heir of the throne and as compensation, getting invited to the wedding. Even after the breakup, the ex-boyfriend even attended the royal wedding as a guest. I mean, honestly, at that point, you can't even really be mad. Hopefully Rupert is doing okay now. I mean, lawyer in London, I'm sure he's doing fine. Anyone got a, uh, a Rupert update for us? Let us know in the comments below. Kate Middleton used to moon people on campus as a prank. Well, according to former classmates at Kate's school, Marlboro, Kate had a serious pranking addiction and uh, mooning people was her favorite prank of the bunch. And if you're unfamiliar with the term mooning, well, it involves flashing innocent bystanders with your buttocks. Yes, your buttocks. I, uh, well, um, prefer uh, prank calls to uh, local pizza chains. But by all means, prank as you must, Kate. Because apparently the bystanders who got mooned by Kate through her dorm window would yell and scream with laughter to continuously egg her on. And to be fair, I can think of worse ways to be pranked than being mooned by Kate Middleton. Yeah. Moving on! Unrelatedly, Kate was bullied in boarding school. Yeah, you heard that right. During her time at all-girls boarding school, Kate Middleton found herself being picked on by her peers. The reason? Well, it turns out that some classmates couldn't resist poking fun at her for being thin and pale. Yeah, terrible. Well, look at who's winning now, Kate. The classic case of the bullied outclassing the bully. You go, girl. Kate also has a working class background to which many people don't know. Kate's parents, Carol and Michael Middleton, weren't exactly born with silver spoons in their hands. But hey, their family trees did touch base with the Queen Mother. Now, despite their fancy-ish roots, being a flight attendant and flight dispatcher raised some aristocratic eyebrows. Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, had to ponder a little bit on whether or not Kate Middleton was posh enough for William. Well, as fate would have it, Love conquered all posh concerns, and now they are the royal power couple. Did you know that Kate was shy and awkward as a young girl? Well, it might come as a surprise to many people, but back in her high school days at Marlboro, Kate Middleton had a humble start on the popularity scale. Apparently, one of her first school buddies spilled the tea, claiming that Kate was shy and gawky. Another person who went to the same school chimed in and they described this schoolgirl Kate as someone with very little confidence. Once again, I'd say it's pretty 
ironic. Even one of her tutors spilled some academic beans, revealing that Kate was so jittery in the beginning that chatter was a royal rarity. But lo and behold, because within a year, apparently Kate became the social butterfly we now all know her to be. I, uh, I myself never got the memo that you're allowed to change throughout high school. Did you know Kate co-founded a drinking society? Well, hold on now. Kate Middleton wasn't just a royal in the making. She was also a trendsetter of student social scenes. At St. Andrews University, Kate took matters into her own hands by co-founding a all-female drinking society. The Guardian notes that she was annoyed with the old drinking societies as they excluded women. And the interesting twist here is that while she was so busy revolutionizing the party game, none of her friends seemed to recall her going overboard on the drinks herself. So, classy Kate. Well done. Did you know that Kate Middleton was a passionate saleswoman? Before her days as the Duchess, Kate had a taste for business. And in her pre-royal life, she lent a hand to her mom Carol's business. And by all accounts, she was a force to be reckoned with. One former colleague spilled the beans, saying Kate had all the makings of a fantastic trader. Everybody thinks of her as a mother and a future queen, but she's got a shrewd eye for profit. So if your business needs some help in the sales department, Call up Kate for some tips. Kate Middleton took an insanely cool gap year. After wrapping up high school, Kate flew off to Chile, where she rolled up her sleeves and went to work with Rally International, a sustainable development charity. She then set sail, literally, by crewing boats in Florence. And, you know, if you ever want to take a gap year, just know that Kate Middleton did so as well, and now she's in the royal family. So go on ahead. Kate also briefly lived in Jordan as a child. Chile and Italy were not Kate's only international living experience. In a surprising twist to her childhood, Kate Middleton spent almost three years of her life in Jordan's capital, Amman. The Middleton family relocated there in 1984 when her father took a position with British Airways. During that time, Kate attended an English nursery school. Kate was also part of a social group known as the Glossy Posse. Before St. Andrews Hear Me Out, Kate was already a part of an exclusive, wealthy social group known as the Glossy Posse. Apparently, her involvement in the group made it easier for her to cross paths with Prince Andrew, as he was known for partying with the Glossy Posse. The best-selling book Royals at War calls the Glossy Posse a group of privileged teens letting off steam by haunting bars and clubs. I, uh, I wish I had a party night with the Glossy Posse. I mean, I'm not sure I could ever keep up with them, but it, it would be fun in theory. Kate had an adorable nickname in school. In her primary school days, Kate Middleton's nickname was Squeak. The inspiration behind this adorable nickname came from none other than the school's two pet guinea pigs. As Kate shared with fellow students at St. Andrews, there was one guinea pig called Pip and the other called Squeak. So my sister was called Pip and I was called Squeak. And who would have thought that guinea pigs would play such a big role in the life of a future duchess? Me, I'm more of a hamster guy. Kate has always been a natural athlete. Kate Middleton doesn't just engage in royal events like rowing, running, and sailing just to be a good sport. Her athletic spirit goes all the way back. In high school, she actually took the lead as the captain of the swim team. And hey, that's not all. Kate also played netball and field hockey, making her presence known. Kate was a theater kid. Lots of chocolate for me to eat. Believe it or not, Kate Middleton wasn't just a sports enthusiast, she also had a flair for the dramatic arts. Embracing her inner theater kid, Kate landed the role of Eliza Doolittle in a school production of My Fair Lady. Now that I think about it, Kate does remind me a little bit of a modern Audrey Hepburn. Who's to say that they aren't the same person? Ah, the craziness that goes into pre-royal life. I wonder if Kate still moons people to this day. What secrets about Kate's upbringing surprised you most? Let us know in the comments below. Who would you like us to dive into next? Until then, keep your head high. And, uh, oh, uh, I gotta run. I was invited to spend a night out with the Glossy Posse and my flight to Scotland leaves in 15 minutes. I gotta get